What is up Slayers? Today I'm going to show you guys how we install a Solideck roof mounted junction box. Check it out. First thing you want to do is grab your hammer, sound out for rafters. You want your Solideck between the rafters. Grab your lid, grab a roof crayon or chalk and trace the lid. You want the bottom of that lid flush with the bottom of that shingle line. And then you're going to pry three layers of shingles. This one, this one, and this one. Once you get those three layers of shingles pried, nice and fluffed, you will grab your tin snips and snip on the inside of your chalk line to get a nice tight fit around the solo deck. And you can dispose of the shingles when you're done. The bottom of the solo deck comes with pre-mounted knockouts for one inch, three quarter, and three half inch. I'm using the three quarter today. We're gonna dry fit it, mark our hole, and drill our hole into the attic. I like to use these uh, bridge port spin on flex connectors and bonding lock nuts. Always keep the beaver tooth straight up and down so you can get your screwdriver in there. I do two beads of caulk on the bottom, one on the inside of the seam, one on the outside of the seam. Um, that way, God forbid any water does get in there, it has a way to escape. And when I'm done that, I put a little bit of caulk on each of these holes. So when I put my screws in, it takes some caulk down in with it. And now it's time to fit the box. Once you do that, put the screws in that are provided. There's five. I put three towards the top on the inside and two towards the bottom. I put the screws in, put some geo under the seams, and then put some around the outside of the box. Oh, it's cold out and I didn't warm mine up, so not turn out as pretty as I would like it. Now it's time for the strain relief. I use a Milwaukee three quarter inch metal hole saw. There's five knockout uh, divots in the bottom for where they suggest you to go in with either a strain relief or your conduit. Then it's time to put the lid on. It comes with four screws and washers. You just put those in the outside and then that is it. There's the inside, what it would look like in the attic. And that is the solar deck.